Hello everyone, I'm Baruffy1322 and in this video I'm going to be showing the fastest helicopters around a circuit. If you want to know how all vehicles perform in a variety of different classes and formats, check the annotation on the screen or the link in the description for the full playlist of videos. The track used for this testing has the exact same length as that used for land vehicles and general layout as well, so the lap times are somewhat comparable to what we've already seen with cars, bikes and boats. So this time we've got helicopters and in the last place for helicopters is the cargo bob. Probably not a surprise, the cargo bob isn't very quick. It's even slow when you're actually uh, carting something around around uh, Los Santos. But having said that, it gets a lap time of 1 minute 14.6, which isn't all that bad, you know. If you, if you compare that to some of the cars, it's not all that bad. So helicopters in general are actually reasonably quick. Now... Just ahead of the cargo bob in ninth place is actually the Annihilator. The Annihilator isn't very quick at all. I mean, it get, it's much quicker than the cargo bob, obviously. With a 1 minute 7.9, yes, it can carry around six people, which makes it quite useful, but it's not very manoeuvrable and it's not very quick in a straight line. It's a bit of a disappointment, really. Um, it, it could do with being a little bit quicker, but there you go. The Annihilator is the second worst helicopter in the game. But now it's time to get onto the proper helicopters, where we've got some proper lap times from these. And in 8th place, we have the Savage. Now, you would have imagined, you would have been forgiven for imagining that the Savage would be a little bit quicker than what it is. A 1 minute 4.4 is only about 3 seconds quicker than the Annihilator. And low down in 8th place, you know, there's a lot of helicopters that are much, much quicker than this. It does have a lot of firepower, obviously, so, you know, that kind of balances it out. But ultimately, the Savage is not a very quick helicopter at all. Uh, and it's, it's certainly, as you, you know, in 8th place, it's one of the slowest. Just ahead of it, actually, is also the Valkyrie. Now, the Valkyrie is quicker than the Savage by the, the tune of about 3 seconds. As you can see, a 101.7 there for the Valkyrie. But, again, compared to other helicopters that, we, that you can have, it's not very quick. Low down in 7th place, the two helicopters that we got from the Heist update weren't that quick at all certainly not there's no point in using them in a race really because in a helicopter race because you are going to be way off the pace but yeah the, in general their performance isn't all that great and it's actually lower and slower than the maverick as you can see here so the maverick is in sixth place with a 59 second lap time that's i think that's actually the best that we've seen so far um out of all of the vehicles that we've ever seen i think that the two motorbikes got 50 uh, 59 second lap times as well, but we are into uncharted territory now. We've never seen lap times this quick before. The Maverick is the first one to break under that one minute barrier, but we've, we're only up to sixth place at the moment. So the Police Maverick is next in fifth place. This is slightly quicker than the regular Maverick. It gets a 58.3, about a second per lap quicker. And, and you can kind of tell it's very similar in terms of the cornering and the way that it actually uh, handles, you know, but it's just a little bit quicker in a straight line and that's what gives it that extra bit of lap time. So yeah, these are some really, really quick lap times at this point and we're only going to be getting quicker and quicker. When we get to fourth place, we'll see a pretty common helicopter that most people have probably used. That's the Buzzard. Now this is the race going version of the Buzzard. So the one that you can actually use in helicopter races that doesn't have any guns on it but it's actually exactly the same as the, the other buzzard as well. Both buzzards are exactly the same. And this gets a 57.5. So again, taking another second out of what we saw seen from the Police Maverick. Fourth place for the buzzard. It is reasonably quick. It's very nimble. It's very good in terms of uh, cornering abilities as well. And obviously it's the best one that is weaponized. So in third place, top three, and we have the Frogger. The Frogger is very, very quick in a straight line. It's great. It's it's 56.7 second lap time. Very, very quick lap time. This beats any land vehicle in the game. Uh, and this is remember, this is to cover the exact same distance as all of the land vehicles that we've seen. So although the layout isn't exactly the same, it's it's reasonably close. And it's basically the lap time that it takes these helicopters to cover the exact same distance that we uh, have been testing all of the the land vehicles for. So this is you know much much quicker than a T20, for example, to cover the exact same distance. A 56.7 from the Frogger. It's very stable in the corners and it's very very quick in a straight line but it's not quite as quick in a straight line as our second place vehicle the swift the swift is one of the quickest vehicles in the game in a straight line hands down you know regardless of anything around this track it gets a 54 second lap time 54.9 
under 55 seconds is absolutely crazy to cover this 1.61 mile lap which is again as i mentioned exactly the same as what we've seen from the, the you know the t20 covered that distance in one minute one second so it's much much quicker uh, and it's very very quick in a straight line it's very easy to handle around the corners as well it's just it's just well balanced and it's very very quick for a helicopter and in first place we actually have a variation of the swift it's the swift deluxe now the swift deluxe is exactly the same as the regular swift apart from the fact that it's got a little bit higher thrust value which means that it's quicker in a straight line so in terms of the cornering capabilities of the swift deluxe it's exactly the same but it's just a little bit quicker in a straight line than the regular swift and that's why it gets that half a second difference in terms of lap time with a 54.484 it's a big price tag for the swift deluxe obviously but it is ultimately the quickest helicopter in the entire game and both the swift and the swift deluxe can actually outrun pretty much anything in the game apart from i would say the three military jets and the vestra so apart from those four planes the swift and the swift deluxe can outrun anything the, these these helicopters can actually outrun things like the luxor um, that's how quick they are in a straight line around the corners obviously they're not as good as planes but ultimately they are great helicopters and both the swift and the swift deluxe are the two quickest helicopters in the entire game ultimately though the pricier brother is the quicker of them all so there you go, those are the quickest helicopters in the game. Let me know what you thought about this down below. Uh, if you're new, feel free to subscribe, you know, leave a like, all that good stuff. There's only one more video to go, and I'm sure you know what uh, what class of vehicle that's going to be covering. So yeah, leave all your comments down below. What do you think about the two heist helicopters as well being so slow? And what do you think about the Swift Deluxe with that hefty price tag being the quickest in the game? Let me know all your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support as always, and I'll see you next time.